All right, so we've got some big time breaking news behind the scenes at World Wrestling Entertainment going into WrestleMania. Two of the WrestleMania matches have been changed. There have been some changes made in the past 24 hours behind the scenes that I'm going to let you guys know about. So going into WrestleMania, there are going to be several big main events. Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar, of course, being the one that's been officially assigned or officially you know, announced, I guess you can say, and signed. Uh, back on December 30th, 2017, there had been some rumor and innuendo from fans, but on December 30th of 2017, I told y'all that the plan, because I double-sourced it from two different people inside of WWE, two different people, the plan was The Undertaker versus John Cena at WrestleMania 34 officially. That was the plan, and they were teasing it on TV with John Cena cutting some promos about rising from the dead, and the whole storyline being that he would continue to fail until he got to WrestleMania and faced The Undertaker, you know, in, in a big, you know, career-defining match, right? 24 hours ago, I was told that this has changed. Now, I don't know the reason why. Uh, the first thing I thought of, and I want you to keep in mind, this is literally in the last 24 hours. This is still a developing story. I thought it might have something to do with his health. I'm still trying to figure this out. I'm knocking on several different doors here trying to get an answer as far as what's going on with The Undertaker because I don't even know if he's going to be wrestling at WrestleMania anymore. But the plan as of Sunday was still to do John Cena versus The Undertaker. But now I'm being told by a very, very close source to the situation that it's been changed and that the talk is that they are finalizing a deal, a contract, a long-term contract with Rey Mysterio and supposedly they're trying to get him to come to SmackDown tonight in Los Angeles to begin the angle. Now the story is that the finalization of the contract is not going to happen until this Friday. So Rey may not appear tonight on SmackDown, but the talk was Cena versus Mysterio at WrestleMania, not Cena versus The Undertaker. Now, many of you are probably wondering why Mysterio. Well, obviously with The Undertaker not being able to wrestle, or that's what we believe. I don't know for sure yet. I'm still getting information on this. You know, they have to bring in a star who's going to draw money. And Ray's, Ray came back at the Royal Rumble and got a huge pop, huge ovation. He's always been one of the top five merchandise sellers in the company. He's always been really popular. And the idea is let's bring him back in a big high-profile match against John Cena. You know, and that is the plan as of right now. I'm a little skeptical. I'm going to be very honest with you. I'm a little skeptical about this, even though the guy who told me is very resourceful and has been right 95% of the time. I'm a little skeptical only because I want to know more about The Undertaker. But having Ray come in and wrestle Cena, and I want to make this clear. When Ray came back for the Rumble, that was not a long-term thing. That was a one-night-only thing. Ray's actually been working New Japan um, recently. He's been doing a lot of different stuff you know, in Mexico and in Japan. Um, but WWE wants to get him in for WrestleMania against John Cena. So that is the plan that I was told today. And if I get more information, I will let you know that uh, what's going on. Also, I want to clarify that when Ray came back at the Rumble, um, a lot of people, a lot of high-ranking WWE officials were, not, were very surprised. Because a lot of them thought that the fans would have forgotten about him. Right? Because it's been a while since he's been on WWE. It's been years. Um, but no, um, the fans now are more hardcore than ever before, so they're not going to forget about Rey Mysterio. It's just not going to happen. But I do wonder like, if this will be, as far as high profile, this is nowhere near being as big as Undertaker and Cena. It's just not. Um, it'll, it might be a better match. I personally would have preferred that they did Rey versus Seth Rollins, because you have, you know, I think Seth and Rey could have some really, really, really good matches. Um, with that high-flying style, that technical style. I would love to see that. Uh, but that's, they think maybe, I don't know. Well, I'll talk about Seth here in a little bit, okay? Because there is a change with Seth Rollins. This has actually been a lot of changes with Seth Rollins, okay? So, anyways, um, you know, I personally am a little bit let down, and I'm wondering how the reaction's going to be for Ray. I think it'll be interesting because Ray, I think, will get cheered louder than John Cena, right? But... It's just, it's a face versus face match, and I have no idea who's going to win, but that's what I was told today. All right, the Intercontinental title match was supposed to be Braun Strowman against The Miz. That was the plan as of three weeks ago, and once again, I reported that. Well, there's been a change, but not a complete change, okay? And if you watch Raw last night, then you kind of know sort of the direction they're going in or kind of have a clue. So, 
Originally, Seth Rollins was supposed to wrestle Dean Ambrose at WrestleMania, with the plan being that Dean was going to turn on Seth and the Shield, and they were going to do the same thing Seth did a couple years ago, but in reverse. Dean wasn't going to join the Authority, but they were going to have Dean be the bad guy and Seth be the good guy, and they were going to have this match at WrestleMania, but then Dean Ambrose got hurt and was sidelined for seven months. He's missing WrestleMania. So then the plan became Seth Rollins against Jason Jordan, with Jason Jordan eventually turning on Seth. Guess what happened? Jason Jordan got hurt, had some neck problems, couldn't even grip in one of his hands. He got pulled from WrestleMania, and this leaves Seth Rollins without a match. Now, I had thought they were going to do Seth versus Finn Balor at WrestleMania, but not exactly. So the plan right now, Intercontinental title, five-way. Miz, Finn, Elias, Braun Strowman, and Seth. Pretty much the all the other guys that, that didn't win the chamber... Right, except for John Cena and Roman Reigns, who did win, um, they're going to be wrestling each other for the Inter Intercontinental title in a five-way. I don't know if it's going to be a ladder match or any of that stuff, but it is going to be a five-way. That's what I was told this morning from somebody very close. Okay, so just now, as I'm recording this, I just got an update for you guys. Undertaker is out. Undertaker has told WWE he can't go. He can't. He couldn't do it. I'm presuming this has to do with his health because as of literally Sunday, the plan was still to do Cena Undertaker. That has been changed. Undertaker is out. Don't know the details. I'm sure we'll find out soon. And it sucks because, I mean, everybody gets old and legends really never die. But it really is a shame because I wanted to see him ride off into the sunset one more time. So Rey Mysterio versus Cena is now the plan. I'm just bummed out because, man, I've been looking forward to this since I first found out on December 30th it was official. Ah, it sucks, but that's what I have for you. Expect them to build to that now, and there you go. I guess he just told them, from what I understand, he just told them like yesterday, like yesterday morning, like before Raw. I don't know if he was supposed to be at Raw. I don't know that for sure, but I guess maybe they called him and he said, I, I can't do it. I don't know the details yet, but if I do, I'll find out. When I find out, I'll let you know. Thank you guys, as always, for your support. And uh, bummed out we're not going to get that match, but Cena versus Ray should be fun. Anyways, I'll talk to you all soon.